What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army? I gotta just stop for a second, man, and try to catch y'all up on everything that's been going on over here. As far as early reviews, I feel like I got y'all set for a little bit. I know the Air Jordan 6 Midnight Navies, that review is up for you guys. The Air Jordan 13 Brave Blues, that's up for you guys. The Air Jordan 11 Low Women's Exclusive, the Violet, those are up. The Air Jordan 11 72 and 10s. Those are up. The Air Jordan 9 Chili Reds, a.k.a. the Willie Reds. Those are up for you guys as well, Army. So I have a decent amount of early reviews for you guys to check out. So if you guys haven't been getting the notifications, I know some members of the Army been saying they've been getting the notifications. Some saying they haven't been able to get the notifications. But to ensure that you do get all of the notifications, make sure you are smashing that like button. And of course, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button so that way you don't miss any videos. And on top of the army, make sure you click that notification bell. If you have been getting all the notifications, keep it simple, keep it cool. Just hit that like button and enjoy the video. If you haven't been getting the notifications and the notification bell is already hit, click it to turn off the notifications, then turn it back on, hit the refresh button so that way YouTube can refresh everything. So that way you guys aren't missing any content just like these yesterday. I did wind up giving you guys the early review on the Air Jordan 1 Heritage. And like I said in that video yesterday, as many of these come my way, I will be holding and keeping for, man, later, because I 100% think that these joints will wind up going up in the future. And speaking of the future army, that leads me to today's topic. Now, army, I've been a little bit busy as of late, and I had these maybe about a day or so, but my hands been tied up celebrating my wife's birthday this past weekend even though her birthday is this week y'all know how it is man you gotta celebrate the whole entire week i've yet to show you guys these two sneakers right here now some way somehow the last off whites i was able to get both pairs for retail now this is the black pair i want to say we got the blazer low 77 off white size 10 and a half colorway is black black electro green and retail was 140 on these. Now, I hit the black pair on my account and wifey hit the other pair on her account and it comes with the paper. Now, to these joints right here, Army, y'all have never, ever, ever, ever seen me rock a pair of Nike Blazers. Now, my freshman year in college, your boy was rocking Blazers back in 09. And to be honest, Army, I originally got these joints right here for trade bait and it just not necessarily made me sad but i was just like is this it for off-white you know i feel like most people would have wanted a different silhouette you know to be the last off-white that we get it could have been a jordan it could have been a air force one it could have been a dunk but how do y'all feel about the off-white blazer dunk possibly being the last off-white that we ever get that drops for retail. How do y'all feel? Are y'all honestly satisfied with this being the last off-white? I would say from the last four to five years, are y'all satisfied with what we get it? Again, this is the black pair and the white pair. We got blazer, low 77, off-white colorway was white, university red. Now maybe if they would've did like a blazer high, like how they, I, I, I'm not sure if the blazer how was part of the original 10. I think it was, but I feel like these colors, like the red pair, not that bad. The red and white pair, I should say. It's predominantly white. But this pair is not as, to me, it's not as bad as the black pair. That electro green and that black, to me, is not that best of a combination on these. Now, my thing is, of course, we know we lost Virgil last November. But are they going to kind of do it like how they deal with Kobe? As we see, Nike and Vanessa Bryant had a couple issues. Originally, they parted ways. But now, as we see, we will be getting more Kobe's in the future. Now, do you guys think that maybe Nike and Virgil's family can continue his legacy? Do y'all think that this should be it? Or do y'all think that somebody else should pick up the design? How do y'all feel about Off-White right now? Cause I'm gonna be honest, Army. I'm gonna get one black shoe and I'm gonna get one white shoe. I don't think Virgil could ever be replaced 
with what he did for the sneaker culture, for the sneaker community, and heck, for sneakers in general. Now, let's just say that this is the last of Off-White that we're going to ever get for retail. Do you feel like the upcoming collabs that we have been seeing, do y'all think that those collabs will not never take place of what Virgil did with Off-White and Nike, but do you think that somebody else is going to be able to step up and have a fire collab and continue something that Virgil honestly started. Now, if you can name one person to do another Nike 10, do you think somebody can live up to have a big impact like Virgil? Or do you think, again, it's just one and done and it should be all? Because if you look at the lineup of collabs that we got this year, man, again, from Union to Monier to J Balvin, we also see them adding new collabs like the Nina Chanel. So. Do y'all think that Nike is just finding new and innovative people to give us these dope collabs? Or do you think that eventually we may get a resurgence of Off-White? Because we got to remember that we've seen a lot of unreleased sample Off-White shoes that didn't release to the public. Like the Air Jordan 1 Off-White Canary Yellows or the Air Jordan 4 Off-White Branch. Like, do y'all see Nike eventually shock dropping those or do y'all see we may possibly get them down the line the only reason why i feel like it's acceptable to bring this to you guys attention is again because we've seen the relationship that nike and vanessa bryant has now with continuing to line up with kobe so who's to say that you know an immediate family member of virgil can contact nike and say let's continue where he started because i'm sure I'm sure that it's probably a catalog somewhere that Virgil had of sketches of different off-whites that he never released. Like, this could honestly be something big. And, again, if they want to continue Virgil's legacy, I feel like it still should be something dope to do. I feel like, if anything, they could give us the original 10 one more time or do something special for, like, Virgil's birthday or the anniversary of the original 10 or something. I honestly don't think that this is the end. I don't. I don't think that this is the end. And to be honest, I just feel like it's going to end with something that's just going to be crazy and massive and something that shouldn't have happened. I do honestly feel like if Virgil was still here with us, we probably would never see the Canary Yellows. Or we probably would never see the bread Off-White Fours. But... Again, in order to just keep that legacy going and still if they have those pairs, I feel like eventually one day we may actually see the release of something fire because, you know, for the Blazer fans, this is nice, but I feel like for like the, you know, true off-white fans, and I can't speak for everybody. Only person that I really can speak for is myself, and I feel like they can give us one more last hoorah, one more last good one. And to be honest, the only way I feel like to really go out is to give us something from the original 10, whether it's an Air Max, an Air Force One, a Presto, a Air, like it could, I don't know, but I just feel like, I just feel like it shouldn't end with these right here. Army, y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Again, this is just something sporadic. I was just thinking like, man, again, that Vanessa Bryant is able to have a resurgent with Nike and continue to push the Kobe line. This could happen also with all And I'm 100% excited about it because I feel like it's giving the fans and it's giving the community what they want. NBA players were affected by Nike and Kobe separating for a short amount of time. We heard and seen how tough it was for even the basketball players to get Kobe. So for them to come together and do something like that, it made the sneaker community happy. It made Kobe fans happy, etc. So I just feel like I don't think that if they were to do something like this with Virgil as well, it would take any shine or it would take any light away from what Vanessa Bryant and Nike is trying to do with Kobe. But I do feel like as far as off-white fans, they will really enjoy something like that. So again, Army, as far as the white and red pair goes, to me, this is the better colorway of the two. The only thing that I'm not big on is like these like little spikes that we got back here in the back. That's probably like the only thing that I'm not the biggest fan of because the white pair compared to the black pair to me is night and day, no pun intended. I just personally like the white pair better. It just it just stands out to me, especially with like the yellow laces that they got actually going through the string, kind of how they got with like the off-white dunks. I feel like the white pair just stands out a lot more than the black and the green pair. So again, Army, y'all let me know how y'all feel about these in the comment section below. Also, let me know if y'all are fine with it. Like, man, look, kind of how it is with the retro ones. Like, 
Y'all have done enough with the retro ones. Virgil, he came. He left his legacy. He changed the sneaker world. He changed the sneaker community. You know, let his sneakers rest with him. That's 100% fine if y'all feel like that. Or if y'all feel like, man, I feel like Nike should go out with like a major bang. And kind of how like they did the 10. Y'all remember when they did the 10, we had like a release every day. Maybe they can do something like that. Really go out with a bang for Virgil. Because again, I just honestly feel like the Blazers ain't it for it to be his last hoorah. It should be something, one more something big. And again, it could be either like the Bread Force or it could be like the Air Jordan 1, the Canaries, the joints that they were not supposed to drop because, I mean, I'm sure they probably can do it. Just how like when Drake was about to leave Nike and go to Adidas, we got the OVO 4 Raptors, you know, without his signature, then whatever this madness happened with Adidas, they still wind up dropping the Drake joint. So it's possible. Nike probably got the sketches. They probably got the molds. I just honestly think it just goes down to who has the right to actually put out more off whites. And I mean, Army, we just play and see how it go. But again, I still feel like maybe one day, one day we just may see a shot drop on one of them samples. I honestly think it can happen. And I feel like That'll be something dope, at least to do for all white fans. So, Army, again, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section below. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vault. Unbreakable Army says strong, like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones. And, of course, remain humble. And we Unbreakable for the Yeezys. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get him easy. He was old, him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laughs. Two laughs, cause your ass taking nails.